And we are live. Uh, I don't know why it's doing that to me. See if that works. Hold on just a minute. All right, okay, that's good. They've got some security. <laughs> but it can make it a little unhandy. All right, well, I'm just getting some things set up here. Make sure I don't miss any comments because when I ask for prayer requests, I want to make sure I get all the prayer requests from all the platforms. If you are watching from Cloud Hub, I'm not going to be monitoring those requests that chat tonight because I added another platform and basically I just don't ever get any prayer requests coming in from cloud hub. So unfortunately for them, if they can jump over same, same broadcasting under the same name, Roger 8400 over on D live and Foxhole and rumble. So you guys can jump over there and find me. If any of the Cloud Hub viewers have a prayer request. All right, well, got people trying to find me on Facebook. Try to make it as easy for them as I can. There we go. Now it takes a little bit extra time to get all these rolling, but I want to do my best to make sure I don't miss any comments, miss any prayer requests. If somebody's going to go through the time and trouble to try to get their prayer request in here in the chat, I want to make sure I answer it. After all, I want everybody to be set free from sickness and disease. From, be set free from pain and suffering. See what I can do here.
well, I'll get this set up. I do have an intro video that I forgot to run. It shows the different platforms I'm on, so everybody enjoy. All right, and that's just a little list of the platforms I'm on. Here's another little video I made. Because I'm always saying praise Jesus, and I mean it. All right. Well, I think I'm set up and ready to go now. And so we go through the new prayer list. Because the old one got so long. Well, welcome viewers on YouTube. I am monitoring that chat as well. Actually, should come through on Restream in case it doesn't. I've got another device on the side set up. Yes, well, there's the stream bot from YouTube. So that's running. All right. So, oh. and if anybody has a prayer request, go ahead and type it in the chat. And when I get done praying for the regular prayer list, then I'll take your request and pray for you or your family member or your friend or all of the above. Because I just take all the prayer requests I can get, answer as many as possible. There's no limit to how many prayer requests one person can have. So let's get through the whole list. Father God, we come to you and we give you thanks for your love, your grace, and your mercy. And Father, we thank you for sending Jesus, who laid down his life and shed his blood on the cross to pay the penalty for our sin. And bore those stripes across his back, because by his stripes we were healed, therefore we are healed. And Jesus, we thank you for delegating your authority to every believer to do the Great Commission. That is to preach the gospel to every creature, making disciples of all nations, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out demons. And by that authority, we come to you on behalf of Vicki, and we thank you that the cancer is leaving her. We thank you for the healing of Gloria so she no longer has pain in her legs, back, and neck. I speak peace over Landon's mind. And Father, we ask that you continue to order his thoughts and his steps. Come to you on behalf of Yvette Donahue. Command head colds and chest colds get out now in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask that you restore her strength. Command her circulatory system to function perfectly. Come to you on behalf of Ames and command her liver be restored to perfect function now. I speak life over her liver. And we come to you on behalf of Nikisha. Command her kidneys be healed now in the name of Jesus. I command that spirit of infirmity causing diabetes get out now in the name of Jesus. You've got to go. You have no choice. And Father, we come to you on behalf of KCJ. Command 
those crystals in her kidneys be dissolved to nothing now in the name of Jesus. Command all the pain from the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Get out now. Okay, on behalf of Pistol Packing Patriot, Father, we just ask that you grant her favor in finding employment. Father, guide her to the job that you want her to have. Hey, we come to you on behalf of Regina Washington's mom and sister. Command their cardiovascular systems and even their hearts be healed now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for continued guidance of Skyler in his Bible study. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Well, I'm not seeing any prayer requests coming in yet. No, I haven't been on the air very long yet. And I am earlier than normal, so I'm not surprised that people haven't discovered that I'm on. Sometimes the things computers do. Let me hit this. I'm going to, we're going to do the scripture reading. We're just going to start at the beginning tonight. In Genesis chapter 1. Let me drop this chat overlay real quick. That enlarges the scripture on the screen so people can read along. And notice today, for those who are extra picky, we're reading from the KJV, King James Bible. And we hope that ye all can follow along and that thou will be pleased. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven. And the evening and the morning were the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the heaven be gathered unto one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. And God called the dry land earth. And the gathering together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, Let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind, whose seed is in itself upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after its kind, and the tree yielding fruit whose seed was after itself, whose seed was in itself, pardon me, after his kind, and God saw that it was good, and the evening and the morning were the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs, and for seasons, and for days, and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth. And it was so. And God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night. He made also, He made the stars also. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that hath life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven, 
And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let fowl multiply in the earth. And the evening and the morning were the fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creature after his kind, cattle and creeping thing, and beast of the earth after his kind. And it was so. And God made the beast of the earth after his kind, and cattle after their kind, and everything that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let him have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him. Male and female created he them. And God blessed them. And God said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every herb bearing seed which is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree in the which is the fruit of a tree yielding seed. To you it shall be for meat. And to every beast of the earth, and to every fowl of the air, and to every thing that creepeth upon the earth, wherein there is life, I have given every green herb for meat, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. All right. Well, I'm not seeing any prayer requests coming in yet. Might be a short broadcast tonight. Well, I encourage anybody that has a prayer request, go ahead and type it in the chat now. I don't plan to be on here if there's no prayer request coming in. All right, just looking at something here. Well, I suppose I could read a little bit more from Genesis. We can go to the next chapter. Give people more time to get in here. So yeah, let's go ahead back. We'll, since there's no prayer requests coming in, we'll give people a little bit more time. Let's hop back into Genesis and we'll do the next chapter. I 
Oh, before we do, though. Now, one thing is important to realize. Dominion. God made man in his image and gave man dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth. Over all the earth. And everything that li was living on the earth. So. That's where he's telling what his plan was going to be. He says, and God blessed them. Look at verse 28. He said, and God blessed them. And said, Un and God said unto them, be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth and subdue it. And have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air. And over every living thing that moveth upon the earth. See. That's what Adam and Eve had. They had had dominion. They were the rulers of earth until they fell in the garden. But we'll get to that if we continue on in the book of Genesis. Let's see what chapter 2 says. And we're still reading out of the King James Version. Hey, EGA, blessings. Welcome. I see you over there on YouTube. All right. Genesis chapter 2. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God ended his work which he had made, and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it, because that in it he had rested from all his work, which God created and made. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. And every plant of the field before it was in the earth, and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. But there went up a mist from the earth, and watered the whole face of the ground. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man whom he had formed, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food, the tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of, the, of knowledge of good and evil. And the river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became into four heads. The name of the first is Pison, that is it which compasseth the whole land of Havilah, where there is gold. And the gold of that land is good. There is Bedellium and the onyx stone. And the name of the second river is Gihon. The same is it that compasseth the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hedekel, that is it which goeth outward to east of Assyria. And the fourth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took man and put him into the garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Of every tree of the garden thou mayest freely eat, but of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, Thou shalt surely die. 
And the Lord God said, It is not good that the man should be alone. I will make him a helpmeet for him. And out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air, and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, that was the name thereof. And Adam gave names to all cattle, and to the fowl of the air, and to every beast of the field. But for Adam there was not found any, was not found an helpmeet for him. And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept. And he took one of his ribs, and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man, made he a woman, and brought her unto man, unto the man, sorry. And Adam said, This now, this now, bone of my bones, and flesh of my flesh, she shall be called woman, because she was taken out of man. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother, and shall cleave unto his wife, and they shall be one flesh. And they were both naked, the man and his wife, and were not ashamed. All right, so any prayer requests at all, type them in. Any prayer requests at all. I know I'm earlier than normal, but I thought maybe somebody would find the broadcast. All right, well, what I can do is go ahead and keep on reading. Maybe read one more chapter and then we'll see. There's no prayer request by then. I'll probably just call it quits for tonight and get some rest. Then we're going to get to see where the serpent deceived Eve in the garden. Oh, by the way, we're still reading out of the old King James. Because I know some there's some religious picky legalists out there that think that that's the only translation that he, that's good, that's usable. But I don't think that's true. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God has said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the servant said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave also unto her husband with her, and he did eat. And the eyes of them both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together, and made themselves aprons. And they heard the voice of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou wast naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou should, shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou give, gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. 
And the Lord God said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent beguiled me, and I did eat. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly thou shalt go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Unto woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception in sorrow. Thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be thy, to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread till thou return unto the ground, for out of it was thou taken, for dust thou, for dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. And Adam called his wife's name Eve, because she was the mother of all living. Unto Adam also and to his wife did the Lord God make coats of skins and clothe them. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand, and take also of the tree of life, and eat, and live forever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden, to till the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove them out, so he drove out the man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. All right. So, we've covered the first three chapters of Genesis. Don't see any prayer requests coming in, so evidently everybody's got better stuff, things to do tonight. Maybe the next broadcast, they'll be back, but I was hoping to answer some prayer requests, but nobody's making any, so some nights are just that way. Anyway, hope everybody has a great Sunday night, gets plenty of rest, and hope to see everybody on the next broadcast. Until then, be blessed.